Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Calypso84 here again. Um, today I'm bringing you another one of these ground-based uh, rotor miners. Uh, this one I call the HMEV or Hydrogen Powered Mobile Excavation Vehicle. Sorry, I had to look at the whiteboard. Um, this is another one of those uh, rovers that uses the uh, WIPS based uh, WIPS rotor based turret script. Uh, however, this one also uses MARM OS for the pistons here. Uh, what MARM OS does is it allows you to control pistons and rotors with uh, WASD keys as well as uh, your ascend and descend keys. Now this uh, this rover is powered by two batteries, and the batteries are recharged by two hydrogen engines. Uh, it has three drills, uh, and it is running a number of scripts. Uh, the scripts are WIPS, uh, WIPS subgrid wheel control, WIPS uh, rotor based turrets, MARM OS, and status LCDs. I'm pretty sure that's all of them, but there might be more. Uh, it has two connectors. Uh, the main connector is on the back of the turret, but the it also has another uh, connector on the bottom, so that if you have ejectors on your base and you don't feel like trying to connect this vehicle to a connector, you can just eject the ore out of the bottom into the collectors. Um, it has five ejectors on the back, and they are designed to eject stone, specifically because the vehicle only has uh, four medium cargo containers worth of storage. Now, this vehicle is really good at mining rocks just like the badger mole however um, it like I said has less storage than the badger mole but anyway let's test it out uh, there's a silver bearing rock right over here uh, and uh, yeah we're gonna drill it away pretty much um, now I actually built this vehicle virtually around the uh, industrial cockpit specifically because I really liked the look of the industrial cockpit it uh, well obviously it's really neat and um, it reminds me a lot of um, uh, the those heavy equipment excavators you know the things with the tracks and the big old arm they use to dig out holes with but anyway yeah, that's what I ba basically what I based this vehicle off of I did however make a vanilla variant you may have seen it a few seconds ago as I drove past it uh, the only difference between the two of these vehicles uh, is this one has the industrial cockpit and the vanilla version has the standard cockpit, the standard vanilla cockpit. As you can see, uh, the status LSDs, or LCDs, not LSDs, eh, the status LCDs on the uh, rear of the drill assembly right there. Uh, the middle one I believe is for cargo, the left one is for uh, battery power, and I think the right one is for hydrogen power. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that's what they are. I can't really see them from this distance. I need glasses. But yeah, uh, you know, there's a lot of bells and whistles on this vehicle. The uh, the caution lights on the top there you can actually remove um, if they are kind of annoying. But yeah, uh, another thing I will not be making a tutorial on how to build the turret of this vehicle as it is quite complicated. What I'm going to do instead of that is just create uh, a blueprint, uh, upload the blueprint to the workshop, and also upload a world to the workshop with the vehicle fully assembled. Here's the vanilla version, by the way. Uh, it's, like I said, totally the same. The only difference is it has the vanilla standard cockpit. That's literally, I uh, believe, the only difference. Uh, the buttons inside the cockpit might be a little different. Now, this vehicle works okay in, uh, like, a cave. Like, if you were to dig a tunnel out with it, it would work. You could dig the tunnel out, but... Uh, there's some issues. For example, the stabilizers, which are the uh, pistons with landing gears on the bottoms of them uh, that are underneath the vehicle that are used to keep the vehicle in place while you're mining, do not always work. I don't know why. I'm assuming it has something to do with the terrain not being completely even and landing gear not actually having a... Uh, like they have to have a completely flat surface, or at least a relatively flat surface to actually connect to. But anyway, we're going to go in this little tunnel. I dug this out with one of these vehicles and actually left a whole bunch of ore in the way there. It doesn't seem to mind. Now, I can't really see how far back in here I was, but apparently I was right at the end of the tunnel here, and we're going to dig some of this nickel up with the uh, drills. Now, uh, this vehicle actually has a pretty unique ability that I am really proud of. Uh, you'll, be, you'll get to see that once I finish mining all this nickel and can't figure out how to get back out of the cave. Now, uh, there's a reason why the vehicle actually has landing gear stabilizers on it, and it is because Clang likes to do this sometimes. It really, he really doesn't like 
these rotor-based vehicles. He'll try to destroy them and bring them into his realm of destruction and chaos. Yeah, uh, here is the, uh, the special feature I was talking about. Since this is a turreted vehicle with the cockpit on the subgrid over top of the wheels, you can actually use the turret to completely, basically, to completely rotate completely around. You rotate the turret all the way around to the rear of the vehicle, and when you do so, the rear of the vehicle actually becomes the new front of the vehicle. So if you're in a tunnel like this and you're like, oh crap, I can't hold anymore, I need to get out of here quickly. You can just turn the turret all the way around and there you go. You're now facing forward, technically. Um, that's another one of the bonuses of having Whip's subgrid control script. Now I will put a, uh, a link to the workshop of this uh, for this vehicle in the description of this video, as well as a uh, link to the, uh, the world that I will upload to the workshop for this vehicle. If I do that, I'm pretty sure I will. But yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the vehicle. If you guys have any advice or anything, um, how I could improve it, just uh, leave it in the description below and I will uh, hopefully be able to improve on this design. Yeah, thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.